But the sun being out made me very, very happy. Now, if only you could double the temperature of Bluefield right now. Thank you so much for choosing us on this January 8th, 2024. I'm Joshua Bolden. Let's get right to it. We're going to begin with the Curtis Johnson investigation. When a home burned to the ground because the nearest hydrants didn't supply the water needed, Curtis started looking into the issue. Just a civil rights organization is taking a stand after racist flyers were distributed in Lynchburg, Virginia on Christmas Eve. We're going to stay in Tazewell County, Virginia, where there was word of concern that the Board of Supervisors in Tazewell County were considering changes to a fencing ordinance. We're going to take you to McDowell County now because there is some big news coming out of the county. It now has a brand new commissioner, and that commissioner is sharing his gratitude with all of you this afternoon after being selected to serve the remainder of now former Commissioner Cody Estep's term. Hey, let's do what we do every single day and catch you up on, folks, this situation right here regarding Corey Callen. Now, this is a follow-up to last week's shooting. Yes, we're going to begin with this, folks. We've got developing details this afternoon. This just into our newsroom. An update for you at noon regarding Corey Callen. Callen facing a judge this morning in Mercer County. You may recall Callen is the man involved in that ambush shooting in the Gardner Loop Road area of Mercer County that resulted in a woman's death. Again, facing a judge this morning, we have that video, I believe. There it is on your screen. Callan receiving a $1 million surety bond with the option of home confinement by Judge Mark Wills. The poor pup fell 30 feet into the hole after a snowplow knocked the lid off the well. That story's backwards. Timmy's supposed to be stuck in the well, not Lassie. Right. Um, <laughs> never actually happened on Lassie, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, she's like Miss Frizzle personified. If you've ever read or watched the Magic School Bus, you know how Miss Frizzle had the outfit on to tell you what the topic was? You know, when temps are in the 30s, I think that's perfect movie watching weather, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's kind of romantic, too. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a great date night. Granada Theater is always a great date night. And, sir... I'm already smiling yeah. because I know that the sun is coming out today and I'm going to celebrate. I'm not even going to think about what's coming after today. Don't. You don't I, need to. I want to be present <laughs> and enjoy. Moment, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Live in the moment. So what can we expect right now in this moment? Well, it is. And Jeffrey, I have to commend you, my friend, because you did deliver on one of your promises today. You said the sun was going to come out. I felt it beaming down on my skin. I did not roll down the windows because it's still cold out there, but the sun being out made me very, very happy. Now, if only you could double the temperature of Bluefield right now. 